Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, today we're gonna be changing out the shock for my office chair. Actually, it's my wife's office chair, but you get my point. I know a lot of you probably want me to like spend like 20 minutes here doing a really long intro talking about what I've done all week. But let's just get in and get started, shall we? That was a joke, because I, I know <laughs> almost everyone hates really, really long intros. All right, so here is our replacement shock, one of the things we're gonna need, obviously. Um, and most people don't realize, but these things are actually fairly universal. Order this on Amazon, so I do have Amazon link in the description down below. Uh, if you use those links, help support us. Uh, so please click away. Uh, this one here is listed as a heavy duty shock, which I thought was good, because this one's been having some problems. And actually it's supposed to have an inch longer travel than, than the rest of them. Most of them have like a five inch. This one was listed with six inches and a weight capacity, I think of 450 pounds. Um, no one in my family weighs that much, but you know, whenever you plop down on your chair hard, you know, that's a, you know, it's not, not just your body weight, it's your body weight plus your momentum. Um, so I thought, oh, yeah, let's just, let's just get the better one, right? So, I mean, they're, they're really, 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 really simple here. There's a little cap here that we're gonna take off. It says, notice, remove cap. Okay, it's just for shipping. So remove the cap. Molly thinks she needs outside. Again, she was just outside. And some of the other stuff we're gonna need is we're gonna need a hammer. So I've got, you know, a sledgehammer here, which is good. Uh, you can also use like a dead blow hammer. That's a, it kind of looks like rubber mallet, but it's got sand in it, so it shakes. Those work pretty good. Um, so you need something with a big head is, is better, something with weight to it, because we're gonna have to knock the shock out of the base. And then I think I'm gonna try it with a five gallon bucket so that the uh, shock can drop in here, have something to kind of steady it on. But we'll see how well this works. I've done this before and it was a lot of hassle getting the other one off. So hopefully this works a little bit better. But he wants to say hi too. Everyone's here today. Okay, so honestly, the first part here is just getting the chair off, the, the top part of the chair, you know, off. I think if you just stand on, on the base and yank up, you can yank it off pretty straightforward. All right, of course that's not working. So I guess I'm gonna try a pair of pliers and see if I can't give this metal shaft a little bit of a twist to come out. Wow. Oh, there we go, I think. Okay, that was fairly difficult. All right, now here, let's just go ahead and take this guard off. This kind of, just kind of makes it look prettier so you don't have to see the shock. It doesn't really do much of anything else, but let's just get this off because it's gonna have to go on the new one. And for some reason, this one kind of pressed through over time further than it should have been. So this actually kind of drags in the carpet. Don't know why I did that. I don't see any cracks in the base. But let's try to get this darn thing all, all the way out of here. All right, so let's see if the bucket idea works. And it did really well. So much better than last time I tried that. Now to put this back together, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna set the shock in place. Oh, nice. It doesn't even barely stick through. I'm sure it'll go down further in time, but that's so much better right there already. Oops. Let's make sure your wheels aren't popping off. All right, let's not forget to slide this back on over. All right, let's we'll put that in place. All right, which one is it? Is it this one? Oh wow, this is a lot taller. Okay, so you can see it does take a little bit of grunt effort, but it's really not a hard process to replace the shock on these office chairs. And for 20 bucks, I can make this thing work again and work well and not have to throw the whole chair away to the landfill. Okay, so this is something you guys can do at home and really improve your old office chairs. 
get them working again. If you all like that tip, please share it around. If you wouldn't mind, take a moment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell for notifications because we're always making new content. Also, there's a website link. Almost all of our videos organized really, really well. And there's another video for you to check out. You guys have a great one.